So I got to be honest with you guys. I thought I was done today. I mean, I'm doing a live stream tonight. Be sure to stop on by. We'll be celebrating 50,000 subscribers. The drinks and shots will be flowing. You guys know what's up with that Q&A style. Talking about all the latest news, all that jazz. It'll be fun. Hope to see you there about 7.30, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now, this news that we have today is, oh, well, right now, is about potentially more N64 games coming to Nintendo Switch. Maybe in HD, maybe not. That's the question here. Before we get into it, i got to remind you, we do have two giveaways going on. We have one for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Star, so three winners. Winner will be announced on October 1st. To enter, head to the gleam.io link down in the description. You can also join Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for as little as $1 a month. It gives you 15 entries into every single giveaway we do. All right, beyond that, of course, uh, we have a second giveaway for a Switch Lite, and then two second-place winners will win a Switch game of choice in order to enter that there's a laundry list down in the uh, description as well where you subscribe to the channel and a whole bunch of other stuff go check that out be sure to maximize your entries every single day every single video all right let's get into this news so we know that super mario 3d's all stars has leaked right i did a video on it earlier today uh and as it's being data mined and all that jazz you're going to discover a whole bunch of stuff now this was always going to happen it was always going to get data mined but what's interesting here is, according to YouTuber, at LB Dashing, there are six games in the N64 emulator. So for those who don't know, Super Mario 3D, 3D All-Stars, all the games are running on emulators. And there's an N64 emulator in there that's potentially made by Nintendo of Europe. And inside that emulator, inside the files for that emulator, are Kirby 64... Mario Golf, Mario Story, Mario Tennis, Perfect Dark, and Pokemon Snap. Now, it's interesting that you see these in here because this is believed to be a custom uh, Nintendo-created emulator. This emulator, based on uh, what people are finding out in the files, has been completely rebuilt and redone. So, while these games could have just been test games they ran with the emulator, it's also entirely possible that this is hinting at Nintendo adding N64 online or N64 games, I guess, to Nintendo Switch Online next year. Now, next year is the third anniversary of the Nintendo Switch Online, and it might make sense at that point to release an N64 Online with, you know, 20 games or so, or maybe just starting with six, and then these will be the first six. It's also possible, since this is running in an emulator that's clearly running Super Mario 64 at 720p, that these could be individual 720p eShop releases, kind of like a virtual console in a way, where they charge you about 20 bucks a pop or so, uh, equaling out to the value of each individual game in Super Mario 3D All-Stars. It's also possible that they end up packaging these together and selling it as like a best of N64 collection, although there's obviously some best of games missing in there, but the games that are missing are ones that they could literally release on their own for 60 bucks and probably sell, you know, like Ocarina of Time or something. So it's interesting looking at these uh, th these mentions within the emulator and within uh, Mario 64 because I honestly always wondered what Nintendo was going to do with N64 games on Switch. I never thought they were actually going to release an online thing with N64 games, at least not at the current 20 bucks per year for Nintendo Switch Online, because it's almost too incredible of a deal at that point. You, some already think it is an incredible deal for the SNES and NES games we get, let alone adding N64 to it. Now, obviously, uh, the downfall of the SNES and the NES is that we haven't gotten a lot of games added. There's way less games available on those services than there ever was for Virtual Console, and that would be even true for N64 if that was added, or GameCube, or Wii, or any system. They had Game Boy Advance to the thing. Like It would always be less games than when they used to be on Virtual Console. But the fact that I see these in this emulator tells me that if these games are to come, and Perfect Dark's maybe the one that's like most interesting here because Nintendo doesn't own any rights to Perfect Dark. Uh, what I find interesting about these inclusions is that this does mean that uh, Nintendo could have N64 games coming to Switch in one form. Even if it's not the Nintendo Switch Online service, they could be packaging these games in HD. You know, w would it be uh, so uh, out there for Nintendo to do that? I don't think so. I, I don't think it's crazy or anything to imagine nintendo doing this so i don't know 
that's just something that I, I kind of wanted to throw out to you guys and get your thoughts on it because out of all those games, out of those six games, Perfect Dark is the one that really has me uh, tickled. Now, Pokemon Snap would normally get me super, super excited, but we're getting a new one on Switch. Like, I, I can't believe I can even say that. We're actually getting a new Pokemon Snap. So I'm more interested in the new one than, than replaying the old one. But, I mean, Mario Golf, that's back in the day, right in smack dab in the middle of when Mario Golf was at the top of its game. Kirby 64 was amazing. You know, Perfect Dark is, is one of the most, you know, it's one of the best, um, you know, first-person shooters or whatever, literally, like, best FPS games out there on any platform at that time. Now, maybe it doesn't hold up as well today, uh, but still, like, it's amazing. It's right there with GoldenEye back in the day on N64. So it's crazy to see these on there, uh, and I, I honestly hope it means something. We don't know what it means, you know. Uh, the, the guy on Twitter, you know, it's like, oh, man, you know, are we talking Nintendo Switch Online Service? Like, what are we talking about? Nobody knows. Nobody has any idea what the hell Nintendo's doing. I don't. Sometimes we wonder if Nintendo knows what they're doing, let alone can we even venture to guess what any of this actually means. But uh, the guy on Twitter does go on to mention, you know, this isn't the full list of games, of course. Uh, this is leftover data that should have been removed. Uh, meaning the N64 emulator used in 3D All-Stars is the same one that will be used in N64 Online. So if it is available in N64 Online, there are more games than just those six. Um, again, who knows? Um, and I guess someone told them that the data from the N64 uh, Wii U emulator. So, you know, whatever. The point is, nobody really knows what the hell is happening here. I just hope, beyond hope, that this isn't it. That... You know, what what we're getting with, you know, whether it's, you know, Super Mario 64 or, uh, you know, or Odyssey, you know, or not Odyssey. Whether it's Super Mario 64 or whether it's, you know, I don't know. Like, this entire 3D All-Stars collection pack, I just don't want this to be the last time we get N64 GameCube and Wii games. I want to see more. Now, I assume we're going to get a, a 35th anniversary pack or something for uh, Zelda. Maybe that's a little presumptive of me, but I assume we will. I just know that I want to see all of these games uh, release it some way. I, I, the fact that Xbox is going to have a way with a Series X to play literally every game that's ever existed in the Xbox library, going all the way back to the OG Xbox, just makes me more and more want Nintendo to have some way to do the same. I realize with cartridges and discs, like you can't just plug and play you know, different architectures, but man... Can a future exist where everything's playable, even if you buy it individually, like virtual console days, or, you know, release collection packs like crazy, you know, the, the, you remember Rare Replay over on Xbox, like even something like that, um, you know, an N64 replay game or something, a GameCube replay game, a Wii replay game, uh, just something. I, I know there's something that can be done. I just know that, uh, man, I'm hyped. God, I'm hyped. I'm hyped for these hypothetical games. All right, folks. Catch you tonight for the stream. Peace out.